Alright guys, this is an update video on the thing 2.0. I've made a few little advancements in the construction of this thing. Um, one being the power supply and two being the audio amplifier. So uh, let's have a little peek and see what the, see what I got done with it, right? Alright, so here we go. So far this is what I've got done. I've got the power supply completely done right here as well as the audio amplifier over here I just got to wire it in to the speaker and then the receiver receiver transmitter uh, basically what I've decided to go with simply because I have a crystal is 80 meters and basically the frequency um, of the crystal is 3.579545 uh, which what they used to call years ago a color burst crystal basically if I'm an old TV right old TVs and stuff which is this one right there uh, so that's going to be the frequency for this thing and uh, so yeah so the power supply again I'm going to really quick We've got the hot that comes in here through the fuse, two amp fuse, back to the transformer. We have the neutral on this side, which comes over and switched by the switch in front, which goes back into the transformer. Uh, then we get about 12 volts output, AC on the red and the blue, which goes into here, which dumps into the full wave bridge rectifier. And in the DC, I got the DC going through to inductors, which goes through two capacitors, and uh, or one capacitor I should say goes through this one, and then the voltage from from here then goes into two voltage regulators, and the two regulators I decided to go with I can't really see them there is a eight volt and a twelve volt regulator. And uh, the, old, the power from the voltage from those dumps into two of these capacitors here, electrolytics, and the ground is common. I got the 8 volt on using uh, pink for the 8 volt, I'm using red for the 12 volt, and that's the wire right here. Matches up with uh, what comes after the regulators down there. So the, uh, the audio amplifier I'm going to use. From one I had made running off a 9 volt battery. But obviously, we keep running off the power supply when I get it done. And uh, so basically, you got two wires here. I still got to wire it up. But uh, two wires down here is the input, the gray wire here being the output, and of course, voltage there. And that's the idea of our. And that's going to feed this speaker here, which is 8 ohm, and it looks like. Is it 5 watt? 0.5? It was like 0.5, 500 milliwatt, maybe. So, uh, yeah. So, the yeah, audio amp is going to feed the speaker, and the power supply is going to feed the audio amp and the receiver transmitter. So, basically, that's where we're to with it. And, uh, so I'm just trying to decide now where I'm going to put transmitter, if I'm going to put transmitter in the center. Um, up here probably and then the receiver in the center or what that that's what I'm still trying to decide but so far that's where we're two and of course that's the frequency this radio is going to be and well this is going to turn out I guess we'll soon find out but anyways she's going to be a 3.579545 or just we'll say uh, 3.580 close enough <laughs> and we'll use a tuning cap here to uh, persuade the uh, crystal to move a few hertz um, I'm going to see if I can find a circuit that will allow me to use the crystal on receive and transmit that's what I like this crystal to do use the same crystal for the receive as well as the transmit that would be cool but anyways that's where she sits right now and uh, if anybody's uh, got any good circuits out there to use for a receiver that can use one crystal for both receive and transmit, 
please post a link below. I would like to uh, see the circuit. I'd like to be able to build that. And we'll, uh, the way it's not so complicated. Um, so the antenna switching, like I say, is going to be a antenna switcher, electronic switch I'm going to use for this. And then to switch the power on the receiver and the transmitter, I'm going to use an actual relay to switch that in and out, which will be controlled by the uh, by by the key by key that's going to be here. And uh, probably going to have to use a stereo plug on it. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that with the key yet, but we'll worry about that in a bit. But uh, there we go. So we get a fully regulated, fully filtered power supply that's completed. Ready to go. I am up the fire, just needs to hook it up basically, and it's ready to go. So, next video, you'll see the audio app completely wired in here. And um, the transmitter, um, I'm either going to use a crystal oscillator, which chances are this one I'm going to be dealing with this is a crystal oscillator, a call pit oscillator, or something like that. And uh, same thing for the receive, I'm hoping. But we'll see. Anyways, if you got any comments, boys? I'd like to see them below. If you got any uh, suggestions or circuits that can use a crystal for both receive and transmit, I uh, would most definitely be interested in seeing the circuit. Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, we will catch you later. 3063, out.